in this video we're gonna detect messages so we're gonna um, set up a command we're gonna listen for that command and if the command gets if someone types in the command we're going to uh, display what they wrote right here I think that's a good a good example to kind of work with messages so everything's the same as before in the last last videos now the way that we do that is on event received so we'll, we'll come down here we'll work at the bottom and I'm actually gonna do what's called pseudocode so I'm just gonna like list out what we want to do and then later I'll go in and I'll add the code so here we want to um see if text includes the command okay I want to see if the text includes the command if it does display it and if not we'll do nothing very basic pseudocode but if you're just starting out with coding I think pseudocode is very good just kind of write it out in English or your language and and then go in later and add the code uh, okay see if text includes the command so to do that we go actually I'm gonna go back into the object because I don't remember exactly where it's at oh actually so I'm gonna send a message just to get there we go so to get it printed so we have an event we have detail the listener is message so object dot detail dot event dot listener so it's in the same place as as these listeners so if object dot detail dot listener equals message all right I'm actually so this is one check we're checking right here if the listener is a message I also want to add and so we're doing two checks here so these two things have to be true for uh, for it to go into the code block so where's the actual message my text where is my text in here event data dot text and then this is a JavaScript function right here so we're gonna say dot includes and in this let's do a command let's say um, hello so if someone types in that command we are going to console.log hello so just type in nonsense and you see it, it typed it typed it printed the event but if I do hello there we go all right so how about we uh, we change this donation goal and we'll change it to hello maybe you remember what we did oh we actually have a function for it Oh, but that is that's for change name where did we use this by the way if you're um, looking for something so you highlight it and then you do control F and then you can go through all the instances of that text eh. all right we're gonna we'll just do it ourselves so it's still box dot inner text so box dot inner text equals Hello, friend. Hello. And there we go. The text changes to hello, friend. Let's go up a level, and we're going to display what the person entered. So maybe they say exclamation point hello. That's the command. But then they type a sentence after that. Let's put that in there. So it's going to equal dot text. So we already have the text. We just copy and paste that. 
So box.innerText equals object.detail.event.data.text. Save that. So we'll do hello. And there we go. It displays the text. And the last thing I want to do, and this is sort of all JavaScript related, I want to display that text, but I want to cut off. So right now it adds the command. So how about I try to cut off that command and just do the text. Just do the text after the space. So the way I'm going to do that is in JavaScript. You have, so this is what's called a string. This hello and then all this nonsense. That's a string. We're going to split the string by spaces. So every time it sees a space, it's going to cut, cut the string. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five spaces. So it's going to be cut up into six different little texts. So here, let me show you how that works. All right, so the text dot split. And in split, you have to, what are we going to split it by? So you can split by commas. You can split by a, a letter. You can do anything you want. So let's, uh, actually, let's see. Ah, okay. So, it takes the string, and when it splits it up, it turns it into an array. And an array is just, all right, so this is an array right here. This was, we just released a pixel art widget. The chat, you get a prompt, you get one of these words, say so you get a rabbit, and then, the chat draws on the canvas, they try to draw a rabbit, and the streamer has to guess what it is. But this is an array right here. So these two symbols here, it's basically a, a block of information. So in this, this is an array of strings. These are all airplane is a string, apple is a string, uh, it's different sort of data types. I'm not going to get into that. But this is an array. It's a, a block of information. That's what this is turning into. And that's why it has the commas in between it because it's printing it as an array. Okay, here. So an array, let's say it has 10 things in it, 10 data, whatever, 10 sentences, 10 words in the array. There's indexes of the array, index zero. For arrays, they start counting at zero, not one. So here we go. It's gonna split the whole string, make it an array, and then it's gonna show the first index of the array, which should be hello. The exclamation point, hello. Yeah. If we come in here, let's do one. And so we do hello, and then we'll do turtle, and then we'll do nonsense. And there we go. This is the second index, index one in the array, turtle. So we're displaying different parts of that string that we cut up by spaces. So. We want to cut just the first one. We want to cut out the hello. And then we want to display the rest. And I actually, I could do it through a loop, um, but I actually don't know how to do it. There's probably a better way to do it than looping through everything. And so we're gonna go to Claude. AI help. Okay, so I need to explain what we want. I have a string in JavaScript that I am splitting with space. I want to cut index zero from the string and display the rest. I guess he's just gonna take it out. He's gonna split and slice. Okay. So 
This is what we did. The split, we did that. And then slice is a function where you cut out something. So you cut out from an array or you cut out from a string. So we're slicing out the first, the first go. And then we're rejoining it with the space. So, <laughs> all right, we have the string. We're cutting it up by the spaces. We're taking off the first, the first part, the hello, and then we're rejoining it at spaces, with spaces. And we're doing all that just in one line right here. So let's copy that. So dot text, okay. Slice, da, 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 da. okay. So now I'm gonna type the command and a space, and then I'm gonna type uh, turtle and then some nonsense, and it should, it should just show the turtle and the nonsense. Perfect. And that's kind of how, uh, that's how chat um, widgets are made. Chat widgets are very complex. You have, there's a lot of things you have to account for, like, um, Banned people. You don't want banned people to be able to message. Uh, I think you're allowed to delete messages, so you want to be able to, to take away messages. So, chat chat widgets are very complex. A very very good chat widget that you can look at is on Twitter. X. This guy, Max Shrigma. This is free. So he made this uh, Halloween chat, and it's really good. You can download it, you can go look at the code. It's very advanced. He's very good at, at what he does. So I think if you want to do a chat widget, go ahead, download this. You can look through it. And he, he's even got these uh, alerts in the chat. So this one's a subscriber, and then the, uh, the ghost does a little dance. And yeah, very good. If you're interested in chat widgets, Highly rec recommend that. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, events, messages, on widget load. Next, I'm gonna make some, I'll make a full widget. We'll do a, uh, not exactly sure what I'm gonna make yet, but I'll do a couple videos and it'll be one video from beginning to end of me making Probably some stupid little widget, but it'll be fun. See you there. Thank you.